to your sharper reading for January. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, guys, this is for the present, right? Not for the whole month, but just the present now. Um, the present situation of your chakras and the way you're flowing and the energy is going. Um, what is the best message that is needed for Virgo Libra, please, at this moment? Um, we have third eye chakra talking about being clear about the situations, really keeping your intuition open, really following your intuition. It's very important at this time to follow your intuition. Okay, so this is going to come in very handy. Um, it's definitely needed at this time. Um, this is talking about the death. I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. And this is talking about the death card. This is just talking about having an ending that is clearly going to be a beginning, but it wants you to see clearly to why the situation is happening. It wants you to have an understanding, right, that this is for your own stability. This is red. This is talking about that root chakra, keeping your stability. This is for things for your own survival needs as well, um, making sure that you understand it's never the end. It's always the beginning. The end is always the new beginning. Um, having patience during this death card syndrome. Um, I'm going to call it a syndrome because it definitely does feel kind of like a syndrome. Um, it's kind of like not only has like maybe the tower fallen, but it's also going to make you kind of hazy, right? Going to give you some confusion. And this is why the third eye chakra is here because it does not want you to be clouded about any situations. It wants you to open up to your intuition, your gut feelings, and have this understanding of why this is actually taking place. Um, so be patient. I accept that everything happens in divine order. And this is definitely a divine order. This is something that is being taken away to refresh and to get you back on track. Okay. Some things are not meant to last forever. So going straight over here, it says this is also for your balance. This is going to keep you very balanced, right? This is the place where you're going to feel like I'm now in a place of balance. I'm in a place of understanding. And once you do get your third eye open, guys, and you have this intuition going and you can clearly see, everything just kind of falls into place, right? Because I have a better understanding. The patience starts coming through. Then you can actually start using the intentions to manifest what it is you truly want as the divine is really taking care of you. Um, and this is your right also. This is, it is. It's your divine right as yourself to be able to have this understanding and to be able to, you know, in make your intentions known to the universe of what you need and what you want within your life. So it's kind of going your divine purpose. Um, with the manatee over here, um, this spirit guide card is talking about accept the situation as it is rather than fighting to change it. And that's going to be the biggest thing. And maybe that that's why it kind of feels like a syndrome, right? It's kind of like, but I don't want to be there, um, right? I don't want this to happen. Um, but in the end, it's like... It, it's going to happen whether you like it or not. It's just whether or not you're going to see it for what it is and keep yourself balanced within the situation so things can take place and go with the flow. Or you can sit over here and fight the inevitable, right? And it will take a longer process. And it'll feel like a longer process. Let's put it this way. What if the process is the same? It's just going to make it feel longer because of the imbalance that you're in. Right? It's kind of like watching the clock. If you watch the clock, it seems like it goes by very slow. But when you keep yourself busy and doing other things, time goes by really fast. So it's the same, pretty much the same thing. It's not so much that it's really going slower. It just feels slower because you're fighting it. Okay, so yes, cutting through what you, what you don't need. Being very disciplined and truthful to yourself. Be honest with yourself. Have the mental clarity, you know, to have the better understanding of why this change and this transitioning is taking place. Okay, so very beautiful. Have patience because right, your wealth and your harmony are coming in. You're going to be a lot more prosperous when this happens. This is a divine order. So it's going, you know, to bring in this abundance that's needed for you. But have the generosity to yourself to keep your patience. You know, when you're a patient, you're actually giving yourself generosity because you're not giving yourself any swords, right? When it says balance, it's taking care of yourself. Understanding the process for what it is gives you more love, more patience, more strength, and more, you know, more self-love. 
because you're not hurting yourself, right? You're not hurting yourself in this process. So by doing this, this is keeping your balance, your, your chakras very balanced and keeping you in the flow, in the flow of what is needed. Uh, with humanity, it says fighting the change and it's saying, yes, travel with inspiration for the ideas and discover the new things that are coming on because this is about freedom. Well, this whole reading right here really is about the Pluto conjuncting with that Uranus. You have the death card, which is the Pluto. You have the freedom, which is the Uranus. So it's really a death of change for your freedom and your justice, for the things that you really truly want, which is a huge thing right now with this Pluto conjuncts the uh, Uranus, because that's what Uranus wants. And it's, it's definitely giving it to a lot of people, that's for sure. So with this, yes, this is going to bring in a happiness and joy that is much needed for you. Wow. Really wow. So where you feel like, you know, I'm a little stuck. I don't understand what's going on. I've done everything I was supposed to do. Really dig within that intuition, guys. Get creative about the situation. Open up that throat chakra and communicate with yourself so that you do have the better understanding of, oh, I get it. This isn't going anywhere. Look, they're, they're taking it away from me because it's not going to go anywhere. It's dead. It's gone. So I'm just going to allow it to, this situation to unfold. Um, you can hold on to it as long as you want, but it's going to look. Right now, Pluto and Uranus, they want them gone. So a lot of people don't even have control of the situations anymore. Even when they're trying to hold on to things, they're being taken away, whether you like it or not. So you can either fight against the change and allow yourself a lot of imbalance and in your chakras and a lot of misery, or you can go with the flow, accept it, understand it, get clear about it and say, fine, take it. Because you know what? There's something better traveling towards me. And for a lot of you, there is something better traveling towards you. It could be love. You know, it could be got cups over here. It's something that you definitely are going to love a lot better. Wow. So this is very important right now. Because it doesn't want you to feel stuck and it doesn't want you to be imbalanced. It wants you to have a better understanding of what's going on right now. Why these things are happening. Why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling. And the daily healing right now is in this situation. Make sure to take five or more minutes out to concentrate on a divine feeling or a higher thought. Doing your best to block out all other distractions and anything that's keeping you from wanting to fight against the change. Okay. Just be aware that your thoughts and feelings are just as impactful as your actions. So you don't want to do that either. You want to make sure that everything is keeping itself in balance. Right? Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.